farther back and higher up into the Andes, one gets closer to the aboriginal source of this music. Lake Titicaca, at 12,500 feet above sea level, was the mythological birthplace of the Incas. For the people who live by the shore today, it's the center of their lives. The highway from Bolivia to Puno runs through the community of Chimu. On a Sunday, the men and women of Chimu work together to make adobe bricks from the mud and the water of the lake shore. They use reeds for everything, from building boats, to making mats, for food, and for musical instruments. Panpipes require a unique cooperation between the musicians. Each set of panpipes can only play half the notes of the scale. Each musician must keep the entire melody in mind, but can only play his part of it. This manner of playing has been going on for thousands of years in Peru. The city of Puno is just six miles from the Chimu community. There are a half dozen bordado shops there which construct and rent out the masks and costumes used in village festivals for miles around. The pre-Columbian traditions continued to combine with Christian concepts of the devil and Donald Duck. The masks and costumes are an expression of the insanity of history. The responsibility of paying for the festival falls on one man in the village. He rents the costumes, masks, musicians, and beer. Taking on this responsibility may place him in debt, forcing him to borrow from his neighbors. However, he gains in social status. Oh! 
Todos estamos en la comunidad de Chemo, estamos bailando, morinata. Dance of the old men, Aki Aki in the Aymara language, Machu Tusuk in Quechua, presents an Andean view of the authorities, the politicians, as white men in European dress. This is the way they've seen us. <laughs> <laughs> 